Hello dreamers, welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today is the big day. Today I'm finally finishing my star path. I just have a couple more duties to do and then we're gonna talk about it, about the rewards, my final thoughts. And uh, if you haven't watched any of my star path reviews before, or if you have but you still don't know how to get extra 100 moonstones, I'm gonna show you how to do that because I feel like I, I have to mention this in every time I talk about Star Path because it's just such a cool thing. So, uh, I have four tasks left. We gotta talk to two villagers. We're gonna feed a few villagers and then we're gonna give some gifts to Woody. Uh, I can't believe I'm doing Jafar, giving Jafar bay nets, but no, wait, not bay nets. This is biscuits. Level four. Wow, from Biscuits? Well, that's convenient. I still haven't done his quest, level 2 quest, but I I guess I'll, I'll take level 4. Oh, and he's out. Wait, why on earth are you out? I thought you were eating. Anyway. Sugar-free fruit muffin for Stitch. I will do that for you, my friend. You definitely need sugar-free muffins because you have too much energy already. You don't need even more energy from sugar. Uh. Oh, there we go. Fruit and wheat. My final wheat. I, I spent on you, Stitch. This is how much I love you, buddy. I'm going to have to grow plant a giant wheat of field. I mean, you know what I mean. You're welcome. All right, one task is done. Oh, that's good. That's good. Now we need to talk to Tiana. We need to talk to... Uh... Why is Jafar following me? I didn't start hanging out with him. Minnie Mouse and gifts to Goofy. Oh, that's actually a good opportunity to test... Oh, no, wait. Never mind. I thought Minnie was asleep. But that lady cannot sleep when it's shopping time. All right. Well, Daisy is shopping in Scrooges? Huh. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, let's chat. Yeah! Fascinating. Perfect. My god, it feels so satisfying to be so close to greatness. It feels incredible. Alright, let's play the lottery. Let's see if, uh, if Woody is actually inside his house. Even though the map says he is... Oh, he actually is. Wow, that's that doesn't happen very often. All right, we, I got you two flowers that I'm not entirely sure what you need for, but they're yours, buddy. Oh, I took the wrong flower. Wait, what? How did I mess up so badly? I was supposed to get black passion lily. I got green one. I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I'm, bl I'm I'm literally blind. I picked up a green one and I'm like, oh, this looks black. Because it has like dark petals inside. And he's gone! He's gone with the wind! Boom! Gave you this. And now, only one more thing to do. Tiana started this update, so I feel like it's only fair. If she finishes it. If I can find her. Oh! I knew you would be here. Such a big, bright community. I know, thank you. How is Naveen doing? Why, he's just peachy keen. In fact, he's learning to cook. Okay. Well, why isn't he here? Considering he couldn't even mince a mushroom when I first met him, I'd say he's doing well. He's even introduced me to some delicious dishes from Maldonia. Is that a real place? I'm not sure I know where Maldonia is. But I wouldn't be surprised if it actually exists. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's officially done. Boom, 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 boom. And now the trick that I promised right after I complete all of my rewards. So let's... Let's get them all. Let's collect these moonstones. Let's collect... Uh, what else didn't I collect? Oh, this chair. 
I'm assuming this is from indoors. It looks incredible. We have another hanging indoor chair and they're both incredible. We got a door, Tiana's front door. I would love to get at least one new door in every new star path. That would be a dream. Now umbrella, pretty useless right now, but I have a strong feeling eventually they're gonna allow us to use accessories in dream snaps. And that's when, that's when all of these items are gonna come in very handy. Uh, let's get some more moonstones. I'm gonna need them, I feel like, uh, in, in, in the premium shop soon. Even more moonstones. Thank you very much. And a hairstyle. Marcel Waves hairstyle. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright. And now whatever, uh, whatever points I have left, I'm just gonna... Whoops, that's not what I meant. No, actually, that is what I meant. 990 moonstones. That's a new feature. That's that's convenient. All right, so now the trick. If you bought a cheaper version of the Star Path for 2,500, first of all, I see this question a lot, so I'm, I'm going to answer it once again. What's the difference between buying 3,300 and 2,500 version? Which one should you buy? The answer is, it doesn't matter. In the end, you're going to end up with exactly the same amount of moonstones exactly the same stuff the only benefit to 3300 one is that you have some moonstones to start with so you could potentially get some of the items you want a little bit sooner not by much basically like six seven star path duties that's pretty much what it's saving you so it doesn't matter what does matter though if you notice that you pay extra 800 moonstones to get uh to get the 3300 version and with that, you get a thousand tokens, which you can sell back for 900 moonstones back. So you are gaining 100 free moonstones from buying the more expensive version. But if you bought a cheaper version, you can still get those free 100 moonstones. If you bought 2500 moonstone version, what you need to do after completing your star path is to go more tokens and then click here. Uh, and get, uh, I think it's 100 tokens. Once you click 100, if you haven't bought the, the more expensive version, you are going to have a special deal here. It's going to say, spend 800 moonstones. It's going to cross out 1,000 and say 800. So basically, this is like buying that additional 100 tokens in the more expensive version. It's going to let you do it in the end as well. So you'll be able to get... Uh, one, 100 tokens then sell them back for 900 and you only paid 800 for it so you're gonna get 100 back so free 100 moonstones nice little trick now let's talk about the star path itself do i think it's the best star path of all times i it's, it's hard to tell it wasn't obviously the best but it was definitely not the worst for me personally and it was definitely not disappointing whatsoever i love even the motifs in this star path, I feel like are going to be useful for some of my dress designs in the future. Uh, some of my favorite items here are definitely going to be the croc. The skin is incredible. Uh, I do like this indoor light. We don't have that many wall lamps in this game. This one is very elegant and very small. Looks incredible. I guess I will use the kitchen. Haven't used it yet. The trolley. The trolley by itself. It's just... Worst the entire star path in my opinion. It's so good. The chair is pretty cool. The wallpaper is pretty cool. The floor, like all of the new items. We have lots of clothing items. If you are one of those people who have an empty screwed shop who bought all the clothes, this is the best way to get clothes after that. So definitely, like there is so many cool styles. The the lilies are incredible. The what is this? This plant, I I can see myself using it for the rest of my life. Uh, we have the fireflies. The gazebo. Oh my god, the gazebo itself is worth it. All of the hairstyles. Just, just take a look at this. So here are the fireflies, in case you haven't seen them. They are phenomenal. Probably the best item in this entire star path. You can rotate them, you can put them anywhere. They have very generous footprint. You can put it on top of things and just make it look magical. It's so good for dream snaps. Then we got the trolley. Here's the trolley. I don't know what's happening in the latest update, but the lights are glitching. 
it's so annoying. Like the new, the the Tiana's house and uh, the trolley, the lights breaking so much. I feel like they fixed it at some point, but now it's breaking again. Same with Bayou house. The lights just don't work. I'm gonna have to restart the game f to get them to work. Uh, here is the lilies. I think from the start path you get the one that go in the water. They're fantastic. The trolley does light up and it looks amazing. Here is Tiana's tower. Uh, I do have a gazebo standing somewhere. Here we go. We get gazebo. Definitely the best gazebo in the entire game. We can actually walk in it. I wish there was more items that we could walk inside. And you can decorate inside of it as well. We got this beautiful flower that it's supposed to be feathers. But let's be honest, it looks like a flower. So yeah, absolute no-brainer in my opinion. The Star Path is worth it. If you haven't bought it yet, I would highly recommend. There is still 17 days left, which is more than enough to complete it. I feel like they nailed the balance of uh, how grindy it is. I, I feel like it felt challenging, but not frustratingly challenging. There was a few tasks... Uh, to be honest, I got extremely lucky with most of the tasks. This one, I just flew through. I did not get stuck on any of the tasks. So I guess I just got lucky. That's why it feels like it's easier. But it feels like it's the same as the previous one. One bad thing about the tasks, I guess you could say, there was one task that wasn't uh, worded correctly. The one where you had to cook uh, the finishers. But it just says five star chef, but it would only accept the entries. So uh, that, that, that's kind of weird. But it, everything else was absolutely flawless. Beautiful items. Uh, is Star Path always worth it? So far, yes. So far, I haven't met a single Star Path that I thought wasn't worth it. So you probably could have just skipped this whole video and uh, just take my point. Yes, Star Paths are absolutely worth it. After all said and done, after you get all of the Moonstones from the Premium Star Path back and you get extra 100 Moonstones using the trick that I just showed you, the actual cost of Premium Star Path is 400 Moonstones every single time. All of this stuff, all of this, you get for 400 Moonstones. Last time I checked premium shop, there is nothing even as cheap as 400. And if, like, the cheapest items are just one item, you get, like, 50. I rest my case. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you have finished the star path already. And if you haven't, totally fine. Taking, uh, taking your time, there is still plenty of time. Uh, I, I feel like we have nailed the balance between difficulty, duration... Uh, it's just it just feels perfect. It just feels you can even if you play very casually You can still complete it without feeling overwhelmed. I know a lot of people complaining about having five Submit dream snap duties. I feel like they're doing this to Try to incentivize people to do dream snaps hoping maybe they're gonna like it and gonna start doing them on their own. I personally don't understand why would the game want us to do dream snaps because technically dream snaps are a way for us to get free moonstones which does not help uh the profits of the game whatsoever so it, it feels like a pretty nice thing to do i do believe it's a very fun feature and i hope it's gonna keep evolving and getting even more fun thank you for watching huge thanks to all our awesome supporters and subscribe for more content i'll see you in the video tomorrow have a wonderful day and goodbye.